everybody, it is the end of day five, and we are here at Water Springs Inn. It's a, it's a bed and breakfast here in Easton, Washington, which is crazy because Easton is so tiny. I mean, there's no McDonald's, no stoplights, there's nothing here. And this place uh, decided to sponsor us and let us stay here, which is awesome because, one, they have like a super comfortable recliner and this couch that I'm sitting on. They have a jet tub, which I actually sat in and let my legs just soak and get beaten on by those jets. And um, they have Wi-Fi, which is all awesome for this uh, campaign so we can upload videos and photos and whatnot. They also have satellite TV. I haven't been watching a lot of TV lately, but they do have TV here too. So I want to give a big thanks to them right off the bat. Um, like I said, end of day five, uh, did 17 and a half miles today on the Iron Horse Trail. And it was a pretty lonely day. Um, I would like to tell you guys that I'm all cheery and everything, but it was just just so lonely out there. And it's so beautiful. It really is so beautiful, but... Y you become immune to it um, because you're seeing it. Like today, I saw it for six straight hours, and one person passed me on their bike, and that's all I saw for six hours. So I saw someone for about one second, and then I was out there by myself. Um, I took a break and sat on a random picnic table and was eating my almond butter and my banana, and I was just thinking, like, you know, of the run, of people and everything. So it was it was kind of one of those days where I did a lot of thinking and I couldn't really listen to music because I had to make sure I kept the, the charge on my battery on my phone because uh, I needed to make sure I could get a hold of Emily when I finally got there so she knew where to pick me up. And also, I didn't have any reception. So there was no texting or talking. Um, just a couple had went through and that's it. But for most of the route, there was nothing at all. So it was one of those days. Um, I did come up to Lake Easton, which is here in Easton. So it was near the end of the, the hike today. And I crossed this bridge. And on the other side of the bridge, the gate was locked. And I was like, I am not walking back to where the other road was. It was a good mile and a half back. I'm like, I'm going to hop this fence. So I jumped over it, and I, I saw why it was locked. Because I made it up about another quarter mile. And they were actually working on uh, one of the tunnels construction workers like big you know I don't know what those machines are called but they were moving a lot of dirt and a whole lot of rocks and I was not going to get through that tunnel so I actually went down the mountain a little bit towards the lake and there were railroad tracks down there so I just walked those railroad tracks all the way into town and uh, walked to the other end of town back onto the trail and that's where I ended for the day and uh, Emily came and picked me up we went to uh, Clee Ellum, Clee Ellum, because there's really nothing to eat here. There's no restaurants. Uh, there's like a bar and tavern or something. But uh, we went to Clee Ellum and we stopped at this one place called the Sunset Cafe, and they actually sponsored our dinner, which was awesome. They had a garden burger. It was delicious. Um, I had, you know, just the basics on it and everything, and I had some pepper back pepper jack cheese there we go um i am sore now i'm guessing a lot of people would be sore after you know five straight days of you know 15 miles plus um but i'm, I'm feeling a little bit my, my left knee isn't really bothering me anymore it's down in my feet and i'm thinking it's the shoes um because i wore more running shoes today and it was more hiking uh it was just not a smooth surface so um, hopefully I get to run tomorrow a little bit and, you know, get on more of a road instead of a trail. And then Friday I have to fly out to Dover, Delaware to MC for 3M at NASCAR. And then after that, I come back on Monday and then get ba right back on track. Um, everything besides that is going well. We're still talking to a lot of different uh, sponsors. Uh, I'm loving the comments, guys. I I'm glad you appreciate what we're posting now some of the stuff you might not see on the Facebook so make sure you do go to the website it's it's more than just miles dot org it's really easy to navigate we're working on putting more and more things up there if you want to see my routes and my mileage and stuff if you go to the website and you just scroll down you're gonna see all of it, everything is kept up on runkeeper 
so you can see that too. Um, we will post as much as we can to Facebook. Make sure you tweet, um, send us tweets, um, follow us, you know, get on Facebook, interact with us. Because sometimes I get to see that while I'm on the route, and that's huge. And I know a lot of you are three hours ahead of me, but just, you know, get involved. And, you know, I'm thinking of all of you, and we're rocking it out here. You know, we're in Washington. It's it's chilly in the mornings around mid-30s, but then it warms up and it's beautiful. So definitely follow along and uh, enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.